All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today we are tearing down our big 580 that has been built and rebuilt, and I think rebuilt one more time. My job is to bring it back, get it running, and let's go dyno this thing. We had a lot of surprises last time, if you'll remember, and now that we got oil pressure, I wanna show you some more of the oiling system after we get these heads off. What's that faithful time? Go ahead and pull the rocker arms, or the shafts rather, and I'll set them right in their respective valve cover. I'm gonna keep every push rod in its exact location with every lifter in its exact location, and then I'll get these heads off. I'm anxious to see what five and seven look like after that head's off. So let me yank these real quick. Got this one ready to pull. I went ahead and got our studs out too, just so it wouldn't be ragged trying to rip it off there. This is the passenger side, and it has the 17D131 on it. So we'll know when we go back home. And here we go. Not too bad. All right, side number two. I believe she's ready. Yo. Yeah. I'm gonna go put it on the mat. So I figured this would be the trouble side. And I do believe that's a little bit of pitting in that cylinder. Which, if you listen. Same thing on number five. It's not as bad. But number seven, got a little rub. As our head's pulled off and just draining, they'll be ready to turn in soon. Um, I'm assuming water just leached in from around that exhaust valve, maybe? I don't really know. Y'all might have an opinion on that out there. This one has rust between both. Well, that's no fun. Um... Number one has real whiteness to it there. I don't, I'm not sure about that, but it matches number two. Also has that same look about it. I didn't wipe these at all. I just wanted to leave them to where I can get some pictures and see what's going on. And they had been scrubbed up a little bit, just uh, I guess cleaned up before they were put back on again last time. Anyway. So here's our short block. And on the oiling, if you can see that, there we are. That, that vein has been plugged with a little tiny orifice in it. So it still gets oil through the shafts. So they restricted the oil there. And uh, it had push rod oiling as well. So. These are solid lifters, if you can't tell. They have little tiny holes in them there. If I can pop her out and flip her over, you might see it easier. The holes there in the center. So after they fill up with oil and they're cycling up and down, it can shoot the oil up the push rod. Notice these are comps, and I see a date of 11, I believe that's 19. So they're good about putting their dates on there. I'm going to pull all of our lifters out as we just keep on tearing in and slowly disassemble this thing. See what, what else is going on with it. We have really fine holes here to stop those off. Um, so there's definitely plenty of oil coming to the top end. And we'll keep pushing forward. The cylinder walls were a little bit ugly. Um, some water has gotten in here at some point and Left us a little bit ugly. Otherwise, there's nice cross hatch still. So I don't really want to mess up the cross hatch of this. But I do believe with that much, that amount of rust, these pistons all have to come out. I, I can't trust it. That one feels like it's just slightly above deck. And it may rock to where it's uh, equal. But anyway, this other side was kind of the 
the worst, worst for wear. Uh, you can see that there. It's not, I don't think it needs a uh, complete boring, but it may need some hone work on that one. One, or that's actually seven and five. So those back two, don't know how water got in, but it did. And there you are, but otherwise, like studying the, the block itself and the head gaskets, I didn't see anywhere that it was leaking through there. So all that looks good. I'll just keep digging. We're gonna keep finding stuff, I'm sure. Just in my attempt to document everything, uh, right now we got Allen head, Allen head, and the rest of these are stainless ARP bolts around. Uh, no idea why, but that's how it is. Just holding the uh, the crank counter on, whatever you want to call that. But I didn't do this. These were already caved like that, and the cover itself is kind of dented here. So when I get it off, put a new seal in, I think I can tap that back out. But the bolts were very long, it seemed like. Uh, otherwise, it looks like I can kind of see where a cam button sits here. So we'll see that in just a minute. I'm gonna pull this front cover off and I'm gonna degree this cam in the engine just like it is. And that way we can see what they had it set on. Front cover is off. And right now I just have it lined up as to where the dot of the bottom gear is lined up here. So this is top dead center number one. A lot of people don't realize that, but the dot is actually at 12 o'clock. So when we check it in just a minute, I'll roll it back around. But with my straight edge, it looks like they just have it quote dot to dot right now. And the little mark is the O right there. Hopefully you can see that. And then it goes, um, R2, A2 on both sides. So anyway, I'm gonna find true top dead center and we're gonna degree this cam. I may have to take this other oil line off, get it out of the way. There we are. I cleared off a spot in the dome and I'll just bring her down a little bit. So there's a rusty film around that dude too. They need to come out and get cleaned. Um, the rings might be just fine to reuse. I'd like to eyeball all of them and look, check the ring gaps, that sort of thing. Uh, but I mean, this was a professional shop that built this. It's just been a few years back. I mean, if they, if the, if the cam was new then, we know it was 19 because of the lifter date. Uh, but I got a homemade, beautifully ugly piston stop that I like to bolt on one way or another, like that. And I put a piece of tape on the diamond piston so it won't harm it uh, as I'm tightening up here. So I started all the way up. I just put this on zero, uh, rotated around. I'm on 64 now. So I'm gonna split the difference, bring it to 32. That should put us pretty close. After we roll back. good for my house we have found top dead center i'm set up i'm gonna, gonna find i think i may be there um maximum lift on the intake number one intake valve see i'm going down there's my zero yep i think i'm very very close there so we'll go backwards now there we are. There's no good way for me to show you a camera angle, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, I'm going counterclockwise now, and I'll go to past the 50. I'm coming back up until I'm at 50. Went past it. Right there. And our number is 67. Now we keep going in the forward rotation. 
We're back to zero. We're up to 50. And that's that fun part. That... Right there. So we had 67 and 152. So that math gives us 109 and a half, which is, uh, I'm gonna double check it. It's not what's on the sheet over there. So let me show you. I'm gonna double check this first. If it comes back the same, I'll show you the sheet. So here is the cam card, if you are interested in that. Competition components. Uh, it definitely says degree intake lobe to 108, uh, 112 lobe separation. 300 uh, on the seat and 800 open. So that's a big dog cam in uh, my world anyway. 776 and 744 lift. So right now it is not degreed to that. I'm not sure uh, if they were wanting to just give it a little bit more one way or the other, but there it is. I definitely double checked and it's still 109 and a half. So I wonder, uh, the chain itself still seems very, very tight. It's not um, like barely any movement. They probably had trouble getting it on there. Uh, so I don't think it's really chain stretch. I'm just assuming that they just kind of left it at 109 and a half. So probably not a big deal. Um, I'll talk to my cam man and see what he thinks I should do on it. I don't know if this set, if we can go two degrees or not. I think so, but we'll find out. I'm probably gonna leave it off right here because I've got the oil drained and wanted to continue draining it overnight just to be sure all that's out. We can see what the bottom end looks like and go from there. What other surprises will we find? people.